When Portugal and Spain played in their opening game of Group B, it was an electric match that truly kicked off the World Cup in Russia. Some inconsistent performances later from both teams, and the group standings came down to the final match when Portugal faced Iran and Spain played Morocco. Morocco were out before the games began, but Iran were fighting for a win to progress at Portugal's expense, while Portugal and Spain needed just a draw to get out of the group. The final table positions were completely open though, and would decide who faced Uruguay and who faced hosts Russia in the round of 16. With so much on the line in both games as they were played simultaneously, it was astonishing to see them both decided in such crucial ways by some incredibly controversial VAR decisions. So let's take a look at the five defining VAR decisions of the final Group B games. Number five, Iran awarded a penalty in extra time. The most consequential VAR call for Portugal didn't come until the 93rd minute in extra time, when Portugal's right back, Cedric Suarez, was hit in the outstretched arm by a headed ball he was challenging for in the penalty area. It obviously wasn't deliberate, but his arm was out and definitely struck by the ball, which the referee saw on review. Iran was awarded a penalty and scored it, tying the game and setting up for a frantic few minutes as they tried to find a winner. They came really close but were unable to find another one, meaning the game finished in a draw minutes after Spain overtook Portugal in the group table by equalising themselves. Portugal will feel hard done by to have had a penalty awarded against them so late to see their lead in the game and the group slip while Spain were given a nice little VAR assist. The decisions may be debatable, but of the day's review calls, the ones in extra time in both matches were certainly the most impactful. Number four. Spain's goal given. The biggest decision involving VAR in the Spain vs Morocco game came late on, when the video assistants did intervene. In added time, Spain took a short corner, whipped the ball in low, and Iago Aspas beat the offside trap to backheel the ball into the net. But the ruling on the pitch was that he hadn't beaten the offside trap, and another of Spain's players had been offside too. But when the referee was instructed to review the play, Aspas had clearly been onside when the ball was played in, and the goal was rightly awarded to see Spain tie the game and move into first place in the group table. Number 3. Ronaldo's red card review. From winning the penalty, to missing it, and to a brush with a red card, Ronaldo was unsurprisingly at the centre of the action once again shortly after the Portuguese penalty, when play was halted to review his shove past an Iranian defender. On first viewing, the way he'd used his arm to get past his marker seemed fairly innocuous, especially given some of the other enthusiastic challenges that had been happening as the game intensified. But VAR can only be called into play for red card decisions, meaning someone on the VAR team thought the foul could warrant a sending off for Portugal's star player. The referee reviewed the play and came back onto the field to award Ronaldo a yellow card. Portugal fans would have breathed a sigh of relief that he'd be playing in their next match. Number 2. Ronaldo's penalty. Ricardo Caresma's wonder goal was ultimately a footnote in the Portugal v Iran game after it was essentially decided by several VAR decisions. The first awarded Portugal, who were already one goal up, a penalty and a chance for a second goal after a running Ronaldo was obviously checked by an Iranian defender at the edge of the penalty area. The referee initially ignored the collision, signalling for Ronaldo to get back up, but seconds later, the game was paused while the referee quickly checked the replay, realised his mistake and awarded Portugal a penalty. But Ronaldo, perhaps trying too hard to compete with Messi in every way, missed it. Iran's Portuguese manager Carlos Queiroz had even walked off down the tunnel when the penalty was awarded and had to be fetched by a member of his staff after Ronaldo missed it. But it wouldn't be the last bit of VAR drama in the game. Number 1. PK's two-footed tackle missed. Early on in the Spain game, people were outraged that VAR wasn't called into action to review Spanish defender Gerard Piquet's two-footed tackle on Morocco's Khalid Boutaib in Spain's half. Two-footed challenges are illegal and defined as reckless play that endangers an opponent, so would have been worthy of a red card should it have been caught. But neither the on-field referee, his assistant who was closest to the action on the touchline, nor the remote video assistants flagged for it. Considering VAR is supposed to be used in red cardable offences, it was frustrating to see this one ignored, especially so early in such a crucial match. Was the referee correct to award a penalty against Portugal though? 
Let us know what you think in the comments below, along with what you thought of the way VAR was used in the matches. Tell us what other videos you want to see, and who you think will win when Portugal face Uruguay and Spain take on Russia in the round of 16. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more. Thanks so much for watching, I'm Lloyd Balson, and we'll see you soon.